I think the way that, that I would like for us to um, structure the discussion is that we will hear from the Inspector General, Mr. Blancet, um, regarding the findings of, um, of his uh, investigation as that they are contained in the report. Um, and then um, we should uh, allow the administration to inform us on what are those corrective actions that they have implemented and where they are in their timeline with whatever else is needed to, to be done. And then we'll open it up for uh, conversation, discussion, questions um, from my colleagues. To close, I, I don't see any other lights, but I, I think that another um, area that it's going to be really important as we move forward um, is to rethink this notion of our incubator program um, and as well as you know the, the whole business innovation network, our biohealth initiatives. I mean, these are very important policy areas um, for us, obviously. And, uh, I, you know, it is, it is very critical that we also take a step back um, and take a, you know, look at how can we best uh, achieve the goals of these particular programs um, given some of these circumstances. Um, and also look at some areas that, in my opinion, were you know left behind. I mean, we've had lots of conversations about you know service-oriented small businesses that don't have a place in this approach. Um, you know, with the incubators, and lo and behold, the data has shown how you know many small businesses there are out there who are in this category and really do need some structure support. Uh, so, in many ways, this offers an opportunity to take a look at not just you know the biohealth or biotech life science but also this other extraordinary large um, you know sector of our small business ecosystem uh, and, and how to move forward and um, so that's another thing that I'm looking forward to not only hearing from the ex executive side but obviously on the council we will be have you know we'll have discussions about that and see how we can marry that um, and then secondly just the capacity for um, the executive and the department to um, execute these recommendations from the IG report, obviously, is something we need to look at very closely because I know dollars are tight, but I assume that, you know, many of these recommendations are going to need additional capacity uh, in departments and we need to be mindful of, of that as well.